Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about another error handling operator that is retry when. Why we use this retry when? If you try to see the previous video, we have seen about the retry. Retry, what it will do is, it will try to run for a couple of times whatever the count you have mentioned. So, it will run, it will try to retry the source observable those many times. But retry when is nothing but the name itself indicates that when means if you give a particular condition, so if that condition satisfies until then, it will going on retry that uh, source observable. So if the condition satisfies, then it will go to the, so if you want to complete or if you want to do whatever you want, you can do it, okay. So this is the thing they are trying to mention, returns an observable that mirrors the source observable with exception of an error. If the source observable calls error, this method will limit the throwable that caused the error from the notifier. If that observable calls complete or error, then this method, method will call complete error on the child subscription. Okay, so this is the thing. So if you try to see here, retry when and here you will be getting an error of an observable and it will, this one will return an observable. And here if you try to see notifier and here in the marble diagram, if you try to see the marble diagram and here is the source observable, it is going on calling the retry. So when an error occurs, so re retry it is going on calling the retry. So this is the about the retry when. Normally, when we use this retry when is in the HTTP request calls and all those things, we will be using this retry when. So I will show you that real time examples when we will be using this retry when normally. Here, let me try to create retry when component. So it is creating. Now let us go to the operators.html. In this operators.html, I will try to add retry when. And here I will add retry when and let us go to the app component at routing dot module dot ts and here I will be adding this routing module retry when and here I can add retry when so it is not created I think so it is still creating let it create so here we are creating retry when operator component yeah. Now let us go to the retry when operator component and in this operator component is yes. so we will try to use this real time example where we will be using this retry when. Now let us say that I have a user's data okay so this is the data I am getting uh, that I am getting from the server so here I can write something like response status you will be having a response status so let us see that we are having a 500 error so this one is returning 500 error okay first it will be an object. Okay, now here you will be having a user's data. So this one will be having ID 1 and the name will be, sorry, and the name will be Leela. So which is my name. And here I can keep another one, another user. So Leela 2 and which is ID 2. So this is a sample response, let us assume. Okay, instead of making a server call, I am keeping a data response data. And here we are having this user's data, right? So now what I will try to do here, let us take okay i will call of okay users data users data dot users i am calling this one and i am subscribing to this data and let's print this data what could be the output console dot log data okay right now let's try to import this off way of off yeah i have imported this one now let's try to see the output if i go to the rxjs basics and if I go to the operators and if I go to the retry when here you will be able to see it is displaying the output fine let us try to do spread operator so that you will you will be getting one by one like that now you will be able to see one by one user will be displayed okay instead of coming as it is at a time so you will be getting the comma oriented now what I will try to do is for example we know that this is a response type we are getting status of 100 let us assume now let us see uh, what I will try to do is I will use the tap operator okay tap operator where is this one tap operator let us import this tap operator tap operator yeah I have imported this tap operator and here you will be getting the user okay and here I am checking that if not of users data dot response status dot starts with 200 so i will be checking the 2 so if, the, if it doesn't starts with 200 means then throw error so i will be throwing the error 
okay now here what it is trying to do if it is checking that response data whether the response data is having 200 or not two uh, first uh, first number it is two or not it is checking if it is not there means then it will return an error now here what i will do is so here let's copy this one and i will add next and i will add it here and the next 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 one is the error so i will take the error and i will do the console.log error let's check the error what could be the output okay now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output now you will get an error automatically why because so as the response status is 500 here in the tap operator it will check that whether it, whether the first letter is two starts with two or not it doesn't start with two so then it is throwing an error fine so instead of throwing an error what i will try to do is i will try to return the response dot status now if you try to see you will be able to get that number 500 so that one is fine now what i want to do is as this one is an error i will write a condition in a such a way that here i will do what i will try to do is here i will write a set timeout okay and in this set timeout after two seconds okay after two seconds i want to make this one users data dot response status to 200 okay after two seconds it will make two it will it will become 200 now what i will try to see if i try to see also then also you will get 500 only now he, here what i will try to do is i will try to delay okay thousand so that means after thousand it will work after one second it will work now i will try to do delay now let's try to see the output then also i will be getting the same 500 only okay i am then also i am getting the same 500 only what i will try to do i will make a i will use the retry option retry of 3000 sorry three times so do a retry of three times now here if i try to see the output let's try to see the output if i try to see the output and here so it, now we got an output now what it is trying to do it is trying to retry it is it is checking three times for example if we have the code here in a such a way that if it is uh, we are getting an output after 10 after after 10 seconds or something like that this retry we need to increase the number so there is no condition for this one how many times we need to check so we need to write a condition that keep on checking this uh, http call keep on trying this http call until and unless you get a response other than 500 if you get a response other than 500 means depending on that response go to the subscribe or go to the error so i don't want to write so that means we need to write a condition so in this scenario what we need to do is we need to use when condition retry when so when i need to do so here i will be getting an now here what i will try to do here you will be getting the error okay now here what i will try to do here so i need to check that so here this error is an observable now here i will do error dot okay error dot pipe off okay pipe off you will get the status now here i will try to check that if status if status dot starts if the status dot i will try to return we need to return this one then only the error will go away yeah if status dot starts sorry what happened here yes if status oh sorry we have written wrong so pipe we need to use the app operator right so tap i am using the tap operator and i will get the status and in this status i will be using status dot starts with okay it starts with 200 if it starts with or otherwise what i can write if it starts with 5 if if it doesn't starts with 5 if it doesn't starts with 5 then throw error throw error or otherwise retry so what is my condition here i have written is so if you are getting an error of 500 so if the response status is so here i am setting this response status right so if the status whatever the status is getting i am getting 500 means just try again if i am getting response status other than 500 means just throw that error automatically to this one so i don't want to try so if the response status is only 500 only then go keep on trying if other than 500 it is there means if it then also it is coming to retry means then throw an error so i don't want to try so here what i can do here so let's try to see whether it is going on trying or not now what i can do here so here i will do 
console dot log okay retrying i will write a condition retrying so let's see what will be ha happening here we immediately we are getting an output so here let's let's see what will happen so retrying and we are getting an output fine it's fine now here i will write a condition in a such a way that if math dot random okay i am taking some random number if it is less than 0 0.5 means if it is less than 0 0.5 means take this one as 200 or otherwise so something like bad request take, add the response status as bad request now what will happen let's try to see if i try to see the output what will happen let's try to see so retrying and we got an error why because here what is happening is here so first it is coming the users it is trying today first time it is 500 error 500 so it the user's response status starts with uh, doesn't starts with 2 it is a 500 so that is the reason it is throwing the response status so if it is throwing an error means retry when will catch whenever an error is caught so retry will catch the error is thrown retry will catch the error and it is checking that is that the status is starts with 5 if it is if it if it doesn't starts with 5 it will throw an error to the subscribe or otherwise if it if it starts with 5 means it will try it will retry again the source observable yeah yes here here the response status is still 500 so it will go on again trying to this user status and again it will come to the tap now by that time the set timeout executed depending on this math.random response status has been updated to 400 let's say that response status is updated to 400 then what will happen here it will come into this one and it in the retry when when the status checks it yeah it, the status is doesn't starts with 5 but it is a 4 but here it is throwing an error why because response doesn't starts with uh, 2 it starts with 4 it has updated to 400 so that is the reason it is throwing an error that is the reason here re it is retry when is catching that error it doesn't start with 5 it is throwing an error to into this error so that is the reason we are getting or otherwise if you are getting a 200 means here it will check that if it doesn't start with 2 if it, it starts with 2 why because it has response status updated with 200 then it will go to the not it will not go to the retry when why because tap has is not throwing any error then automatically it will go to the subscribe so this is the retry when so whenever so we can go on calling this retry when for example if you are having for example you are having something like 5000 after 5000 set timeout is getting updated so for every one second it is try it is going on retrying this one so if you try to see here output so it will retry 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 it is going on retrying this http call and after five, after five seconds the user has the status has updated so then we are getting the correct response in the same scenario if you try to do again so maybe 400 response will come now by time so five, five, five after five times maybe the 400 response will come we got a we'll get an error but here we are getting in the math.random we are getting the response status is updating by 200 so that is the reason it is giving the output so this is how we will be using this retry when retry when it will try it will go on retry the source observable until and unless the given condition satisfies so this is the about the retry when hope you understood about this retry when if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you